Today I'm going to be taking one of you guys gaming PC build list and I'm going to fix it that way you get the best gaming performance for your budget and your needs. If you want to get featured in the next one just send me the PC list to my Instagram but don't worry all instructions will be down below in the video description. This is a video idea from Jason from the PC Builder YouTube channel so big shout out to him. My name is Valentino and with that being said let's start. So we got Pablo here who says, Hey Valen, my budget is around $3,000 to $3,500 max. I want to play Fly Simulator, Fortnite, Spider-Man Remastered and GTA V. No aesthetic preferences, but I'd like a wide build. I want to buy a 4K 240Hz monitor. Wow, that's a pretty good monitor by the way, which is not included in the budget. Let's see your build and let's see if I can boost it for you. Oh no, this is literally a disaster. I don't mean to disrespect you, of course, but if you put this PC together, it may actually explode and I'm not even joking, which trust me can be a big headache. And I'm not even kidding. The reason why it may explode which what I mean by that is shut down I don't think it will literally explode but the reason why is the power supply you have a 750 watt power supply with an i9 14900KS and the RTX 4080 Super. This is a recipe for disaster basically because the i9 14900KS is super beefy and you are pairing it with a high-end graphics card which is what you're supposed to do but then having a power supply with this amount of wattage is not gonna help. Now the power supply that you chose is actually a really good unit from Corsair but I wouldn't recommend it for this build. The 4080 Super alone recommended power supply I believe is 750 watts just for the GPU and it doesn't count the CPU. If you put this CPU it's going to be higher and I know that the PC power picker says that the estimated wattage is 722 watts but it doesn't count the potential power spikes while gaming which can hurt your system long term. We gotta fix that first and another thing that I want to say is that the 14900KS is not a gaming CPU. Yes it can do gaming at a very high level but it's more for creators rather than just gamers. You did not mention anything about content creation at all and then another thing that I see wrong here is that you have a 4080 Super in a $3,000 build. The 4080 Super is an amazing 4K GPU for a $2,000 to $2,500 PC build. For $3,000 you can go with the best of the best the RTX 4090 even though it's much more expensive than the 4080 Super your budget allows it. So that's another thing that we have to change here. And then I believe you spent a lot in your aesthetic preferences, which is fine, but I call this the NCXD viral. And the reason why is because NCXD has, yes, amazing components. They are beautiful, but they are quite expensive. If you want to go NCXD, I can keep that, no worries. But I believe that the reason why this system is so expensive is because of the NCXD product, the i9 14900KS, which requires a big cooler, so it's even more expensive. And then you also went with 64 gigs of DDR5 memory, CL38 timing, so this is a slow memory. You do not want to buy this memory kit for your system for gaming. And 64 gigs is definitely not necessary for gaming, 16 gigs of RAM is fine and 32 gigs of RAM is ideal if you want to do other tasks but 64 gigs of DDR5 memory is not gonna give you more performance than 32 gigs of RAM when we are talking about gaming. And then you went with a 1 terabyte SSD which might not be enough because you have some heavy titles in there like Fly Simulator. I would recommend you going with 2 terabytes and this drive is quite expensive at $100 for just 1 terabyte. I feel like for just a bit more we can do 2 terabytes which is going to be much better for you and in case you want to download a bunch of titles. So let's boost this build. I believe I can do much better for you and trust me you are going to be happy with the results. So I have a couple of builds to recommend you. The first one is going to be the cheapest one that I boosted and I recommend you buying this one if you want to stay under your $3,000 budget. I know you said $3,500 max so we can go even higher than this but in terms of gaming performance the other systems that I made are not going to give you better performance. They are just nicer in terms of aesthetics so I will talk about those in a second but this one is the sweet spot if you want to save money and get the best performance anyway. I went with the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D for the CPU which is much more power efficient and is also faster when it comes to gaming performance compared to the 14900KS and as you can see in the estimated wattage is almost the same as yours but here you get the RTX 4090 which requires much more power than the 4080 Super. So yes, here you get the best of the best, the fastest CPU in the market and the fastest graphics card in the market. 
In one of the latest tests from Textbot from the 4080 Super, at 4K resolution, the 4090 was able to average over 110 FPS, while the 4080 Super was able to average around 85, which, don't get me wrong, is a good number, but the 4090 is much faster. And here you will not have an issue with your power supply because I went with a 1200 watt power supply, 8 tier rated by the way, so very good quality from V Quiet. And even if you have those power spikes while gaming, the 1200 watt power supply will be able to support it, no problems. So trust me, if you go with this power supply, it's a much safer option than the one that you were going with, with just 750 watts for a PC like this. Then for the aesthetics, I kept your white aesthetic, but I went with deep cool products. I absolutely love them. I think they have products with very good quality. Trust me, not going with NCXT is not going to hurt your performance and it's going to look amazing regardless. For the case, I went with the Deepcool CH560 Digital. This is a very nice looking case with four pre-install RGB fans. And then for the CPU cooler, I went with the Deepcool LS520 and with the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D CPU, you actually do not need that much cooling. So even this CPU cooler is a bit of an overkill for this CPU, but it is nicer in terms of aesthetics and I really like this liquid cooler. Then I went with the Gigabyte B650 Aorus Elite AX. Then I went with two terabytes of NVMe SSD instead of one terabyte, so you get more storage to download more games. And overall, you are getting a system that's cheaper and much better in terms of gaming performance, has better cooling for your CPU, has a faster CPU, and you make sure that this one will not shut down while gaming. And because you play games like Fly Simulator or Fortnite, which are high CPU demanding, you are going to be achieving the highest FPS in those type of games. And also in the high GPU demanding games, because you get the fastest graphics card in the market as well, as I said like a million times during this video. Now, if you want to spend a bit more, you can go with the NCXT route, get the H6 flow for the case, because you will need them in my opinion, that way you get better airflow in these type of cases. And then I went with an NCXT 280 all-in-one liquid cooler, which looks amazing as well, just so you get the all NCXT look in case you want to go with that brand instead. As I said before, we can keep this if you want. The total price is going to be 3080 bucks, so more expensive than the last one. But this is still within your budget, and if you want to spend even more, you can go with a 360 liquid cooler from NCXT instead of 280. This is going to be basically the same for this CPU, but let's say you want to upgrade to a more beefy CPU down the line, well, this 360 liquid cooler is going to be plenty for future CPUs. So you can go with this one if you want. Once again, it's an overkill and you do not need this one. It's not going to give you more gaming performance or anything like that, but it is better if you know that you will upgrade to a beefy CPU in the near future. If you upgrade to this CPU cooler, the total price will be around 3147 bucks, at least when I'm recording this video. And then I have one more PC for you. And before showing you that one, I want to say that if you are finding valuable information throughout this video, leave it like and subscribe. It's going to help the channel grow a lot. Thank you so much if you end up doing that. So the last one, the only difference is that the graphics card, the 4090, is fully white in case you want to go with a full white aesthetic. Now the other systems came with an ASUS 4090 which looks amazing as well, I don't think it's going to be an issue in terms of aesthetics, but if you want a totally full white build then this one is going to be the better option because the GPU is white and it looks amazing. The total price for this system with the white 4090 is around $3170 which is quite expensive but it's still within your budget in case you want to go with the fully operated build. Remember, all the links to every build that I boosted in this one will be in the description. And if you want to get featured in the next one, you will also have the instructions down below. And if you're looking for a PC build, regardless of your budget and your monitor resolution, I highly recommend you watching my monthly video on the best gaming PC builds for every budget and every resolution. That one will be in the top right of the screen. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I We'll see you on the next one.